Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from Memphis, Tennessee, looking at more chances for showers and thunderstorms into the overnight hours, but so far not looking at anything in the way of flash flooding in the Mid-South. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings earlier tonight, but beyond that, really just not that much going on. More chances of rainfall throughout the course of the next several days. We'll talk more about that tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Or if you're watching this later on, stay tuned for Todd Demers' forecast. That'll be coming up bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak. High temperature today, just about normal, 91 degrees. 92 is exactly where we should be. A high temperature in the lower 90s, lows back in the mid to upper 70s. Not exactly close to the record high of 104 degrees, but at least we weren't anywhere close to what it was in Death Valley either. National high temperature today, as correlated by the Weather Prediction Center from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, 122 degrees today. That was the high temperature for the continental United States. Meanwhile, we were about 30 degrees cooler than that. Heading toward autumn, 38 days and change. We're well beyond the halfway mark, and we're going to be heading on downwards into the next few days, heading into, again, the lesser amounts of sunlight and eventually some cooler temperatures, but that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Fractions of an inch of rainfall for today. We did manage to pick up at least a little bit of rainfall, and that marks a end of a deficit that's been occurring for half of the month almost of August. August. We have gone nearly two weeks without any rainfall, so we've been behind for the month pretty well. We still have a pretty humongous surplus when it comes to rainfall, thanks to all that rain that we picked up in late February and early March. But as of right now, nice to at least kind of soak things down by just a little bit, helping to keep the dust down and to keep the wildfire danger down as well. How much rainfall are we expecting in the next few days? Well, it, not exactly as much as they've gotten in Louisiana or parts of Missouri and into around Arkansas, but we will be looking Looking at more chances for rainfall across parts of the Mid-South, totaling two inches plus at least. And that could change as well. The forecast going one direction or another, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Flash flood watches and warnings will continue off and on for north central Arkansas possibly wandering into the news channel 3 viewing area depending on which direction that rain goes we will also see again a lot of chances of rainfall well back and up into portions of southern Missouri remember turn around don't drown find another way to get to where you're going never drive across water covered roadways it could be a lot the last mistake that you ever make follow along on twitter for more information at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3 also again available on facebook at Facebook.com slash AustinOnic W-R-E-G and also on Instagram. Thanks to everybody for sending in some great storm cloud pictures across the Mid-South tonight. You can see some of those pictures right there from various uh, News Channel 3 viewers and thanks to everybody for some great photographic work. Instagram.com slash Aonic no underscore necessary W-R-E-G 3 and you can see some more of those. Again, feel free to send them along. We'll post them to the web when we have time and thanks a lot for everybody for posting that on there. Tuesday morning, 8 o'clock, join me on AM 730's Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live Sports Chat for the Mid-South area. I do the forecast for them Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to about 9 a.m. We'll be doing a lot more where it comes to talking about weather safety on Tuesday morning, about what happens when you go to your sporting events coming up in the next several weeks and months. Does your large sporting venue have a plan to make certain you stay safe? It's very hard to get 100,000 people crammed into a couple of bathrooms when severe weather threatens. So if you'd like to know more about that, join me at 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. For more information, that's at AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. Uh, again, on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. Chances of rain over the next few days. Again, better across the Mid-South. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. And we'll keep it tuned to you for more information on our video weather blog at Weather Overtime. It's available at WRG.com slash weather, along with a lot of other weather information as well. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your late Sunday mini quick weather update. Stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 at 10 or if you're watching this later, Todd Demers has your forecast bright and early on daybreak starting at 4.30 Monday morning. Thanks for joining me and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.